Before we get into the hacker replays, I do just want to say, just so everyone knows, we did not reach a light goal for the maid of varsity. And because for some reason people believe this, I will not be lowering the light goal. I'll do another light goal for it in the future. It's not going to be below 100k. I refuse to make it anything less than that. But when I do it again in the future, it will not be less than 100k. Maybe we'll even do it in this video. I don't know. But speaking of this video, we have our six first matches lined up. The first one is one from yours truly. So last night when me and Doggo were playing Duel to Diamond, when there was someone on the enemy team who caught our attention because he was kind of just walking through and killing people. And I watched some of the match replay last night and I couldn't really put my finger on whether he is cheating or not. I have my suspicions and I'll explain them as we go through them, but I want chat to try to decide. So I am the accuser, and I'm accusing shockfan76. Before anyone asks, no, it's not the real shock, whoever that is. As you can tell, the rounds are pretty short. So one thing to note is he does this type of thing a lot, that he kind of runs around and just quick aims at stuff, and then it's aiming at nothing. Here, you're about to see the first thing that I found suspicious. So, you know, off the bat, nothing crazy. But what weirds me out is simply that when he pushes up the staircase, he holds this angle. He, I guess, is maybe hearing Alibi inside sight from there. I don't know. Maybe he somehow heard Alibi walk over to this table, and then he's like, okay, I'm clear. But he runs in, does nothing, and then holds the angle waiting for Mozzie, who's Doggo, to come running back to sight like he knew. And the other part is that when he is sitting here waiting for audio, the one thing I found a little weird is that the entire time he's also looking towards Dog through the wall like he was waiting. But, uh, that seems a little suspicious. Could be coincidental. We'll move on to the next kill. Because there are a lot of things he does where I'm like, okay, so maybe he's not cheating. Here is another one. I don't know if you caught that. You can probably hear Mozzie sprinting before we show the next one, or like deep dive into this one. You cannot hear Mozzie sprinting from bridge all the way from here. That is not possible. Here, eh, maybe, maybe, but my main concern is the fact that he kind of just like pushed and felt like he knew no one was up there and then he went to go wait for him. So here is the part where I'm more suspicious. Is that here he aims at lesion through the wall like he's if you were a good player which I'm assuming this person is supposed to be a good player why are you aiming at the stairs? This is aiming at center mass at lesion through the wall. And when he peeks, like he's still aiming at the stairs. A good player wouldn't do that. They would aim at the railing or at the top of the staircase, right? But right here, he's holding the angle on him through the wall and then peeks and then looks away. There are other things that he does. Hold on one sec. Here, he does end up killing Alibi, who... I don't know. She's slow walking. She's a three speed slow walking. Here she walks, I guess, a little bit, so he might have heard, but he already looked at her before she started uh, walking. But here she's jiggle peeking, and she slow walks up, and Ash immediately turns to look and wait for her. Like, he knows that she's pushing up. Here, when she takes that one step, where she's not slow walking, I can understand, but... 
he did turn to look and wait for her before they even took a loud step. The whiff? Okay, makes you seem more human. I'm always suspicious. No, wait, wait, this takes a while. This part bugs me because he actually gets what when we were in the match felt like a somewhat suspicious kill but it, it keeps bugging out here it, it did this before as well when he takes out the goo stops and then takes it out again it bugs out the camera so the rest of the round we just can't see what his perspective is like but here um in the actual round he's holding an angle like towards here Waiting for the person to push up after a few shots. Then he goes to hold this angle. You can't see it, but he's waiting for him to peek here, and then he one taps him. This little bitch has been trying to eat me all day. When I watched back this match last night, I didn't watch all of it. So some of this I'll be seeing for the first time and trying to analyze. Some I'll just be like, hey, like this looked a little weird when we were looking at it. This was the the one part when I was actually playing the match that made me suspicious of him. Um, but on watching the high, or on the replay, I was like, eh, I think it was just more lucky than anything. Before I, I press play, I do want to say, so when we review matches like this, it's not just about isolating each incident, it's also about looking at the overall trends. Obviously, going off of one round, it's a little bit hard to pull a trend. But we saw in the last round when he pushed the staircase, he pushed up, listened for sound, and then walked in because he knew no one was around. This time, he breaks the door. It is I waiting here for him. And then instead of pushing in, he holds this angle on museum, which... Maybe I'm not good enough at the game to not understand it. But I don't know what the point of holding this angle is. And then... This is... I believe... I didn't... Again, I didn't watch it all. I believe this is the only time he ever threw out his drone. And then I think he hip fire headshot me. Because it wasn't even like the third or second shot that killed me. I'm pretty sure it was the first shot. I don't know for sure. But... I unfortunately got unlucky. Cause I think it's, yeah, like right there is when, yeah, he had shot me <coughs> with the hip fire. I cry. The fact that this time when he pushed the same place, he acted differently and was holding an angle and waiting for me and then like baited me with the drone makes me feel a little bit more suspicious about him. Just because, uh, it feels like Last time he just knew it was clear, and this time he's like, oh, I have to actually hold an angle and wait. I don't know. This part is like a little part that maybe gives him a bit of validation is that uh, he doesn't look at the alibi who's staring right at him. He just walks past. But... Yeah, so I think that is the one time in the entire match that we're about to watch that he actually gets on drone. It's like he does this stuff where he like he walks up, he just knows that it's clear. And I get that at high rank people just play super confident like that, but I just don't understand how they walk up not aiming downside or anything. They just know they can walk again. This part, I kind of want Shot's opinion on. When I watched it back... I was like, seems a little weird that he's just holding here, waiting for him, and then he waits for him to peek or push, and then goes right for the hip fire headshot while aiming down sight. I feel like that's a little bit suspicious, but I guess he could be playing off sound. If he's like super sound horn, I guess he would be able to hear exactly where he is here. But at the same time, there's gunshots going off in the background. Man, this part, I, don't know, I just found a little bit weird. He's like leaning around. I guess here he wouldn't have any sound to obstruct the footsteps, but he just knew. 
obviously like I'm not a diamond or champion player so I don't know if this is just normal plays for the high rank so we're moving into the next round trend we're noticing not droning at all he didn't drone once during the prep phase he just walks in no one's on drones not a single person on drones, but he walks in. He does not care. And this just... It seems suspicious to me solely on the fact that at this rank you should be droning because people can be sitting anywhere. Is that Mozzie? So stuff, I actually didn't watch this round at all. Stuff like that makes me, where I'm like, okay, maybe he's not cheating because he just runs away. He comes back. One sec. So he was on the stairs. I guess would he would he be able to hear Mozzie here? Mozzie's a two speed who's crouch walking. He immediately turns while Mozzie's crouch walking. I actually don't know. I don't sound whore enough in this game to know for sure, but I feel like he would not be able to hear that. Cause so oh. Here, that's when Mozzie crouches. So Mozzie's crouched this entire time. Does not stand or anything. Takes one extra step and then he turns. And then here I could understand him hearing Mozzie because Mozzie's walking. But he turned to look at him when he was crouch walking. So that this is where I killed the person with the diffuser. Point something else out later. We'll see. You had like no recoil on that one. Also, did the Ella troll here? Hmm, not really. I mean, kinda. Put up the pistol, but. Yeah, that was like no recoil. The only recoil was that 8 bullet or something kick. Or went up. So, we have players like Bolo and. Who else was it? Citizen or Doki or something, I don't know. Some huge pros who are fraggers saying Zofia AR recoil is really hard to control. And this guy... The only bullet that went off is the bullet that's intentionally supposed to go way off to left and then you can bring it back. Oh, Shiko, yeah. So... I don't know about that one. Can't see how many bullets he shot either. Yeah, only one bullet missed in all of that. What was this whole engagement? It's like. I don't know what that shot was. That's what I'm saying, it was like, with this person, that's why I'm so weirded out, is that he takes random shots that do nothing. And kind of feels like he's trying to pretend to be people like... Um, whatever creators you can think of that do pre-fires or random shots. The reaction time on this Ella almost seemed inhuman. 
We're on 0 0.5 speed, and look. I guess he flicks over. I don't know. That seems unbelievably fast. So this part, uh, this next part is where he kills, m or one of them kill me. The part that weirded me out is, uh... Without droning or anything, they knew that I was upstairs. But I guess if I'm holding the fuser, you could assume that. I'm more suspicious of the uh, recoil control on Mozzie, the reaction time on Ella, and then he also did pre-fire up the stairs towards me, but it hit the wall. I don't know. Also, remember, he didn't drone a single time that entire round, but he just kept pushing in and killing everyone. Again, to be fair, my team was not that great. Like, the one guy on our team had a 0 0.7 KD. I think his friend had a 1.1. 1 .1. Um, me and Doggo are okay. The ice guy was okay. So, like, if this is, like, a squad of champions or whatever, I can understand why they would just walk through us, but... We'll get to the stats on their accounts later, which is where I'm like, eh... Feels a little weird. So, this round I watched a little bit of when I was just scrolling through the match yesterday. <clears throat> I believe it's this round. You'll notice a lot that when Vigil's holding angles, like right here, when he's walking around, this one's normal. This is how like a normal player holds an angle through a window or through a door. But then when he peeks here, like he's just holding an angle on a wall and then just strafes. This He's not changing his aim really at all. He's just strafing with it. So it's like... What purpose does holding an angle like this serve as a good player? Because if someone pushes here, you're going to be shooting at a door. So you want to have your aim fixated on the actual inside of the frame. Here he fixes it a little bit, but you'll notice that throughout the two defense rounds that he does that a lot. When he's peeking, he's just holding angles that he shouldn't be. Or that are, I guess, non-beneficial. Here he kills Doggo, which makes sense because you can hear the barricade break. I can't remember what else happens in this round, other than one more thing. The part that, again, just weirds me out is just the, the level of confidence they have to just basically walk around. So, here's the one other thing that I want to point out. That I'll, I'll just show you guys. So, how long ago was it? Back here. So, we have Callie and I believe that's Twitch. Yes. Callie and Twitch, who are at the lockers window, they vault in. Jaeger had just shot the windows, but now he looks away. Oh. One second. I just love Dex, bro. I didn't see this yesterday. Your channel cured my depression. Maybe this could be the reason why. Did he see both of them? It's so like here, I mentioned it before. When he's pushing or walking around, like you see that he keeps holding angles, but he's holding it on the wall instead of around the corner. Like, right here. Like, why is he holding the wall? Because, like, let's just say for the sake of argument. If someone's on the staircase and they're coming down and he's holding this and he peeks, the person right here could just kill him because he's aiming at a wall. Sure, he's holding on that angle, but if they're pushed down, like, he's dead. A normal good player wouldn't hold through the wall. So it feels like he's trying really hard to just look like he's flicking everywhere, but I don't know. I genuinely cannot remember what happens this round. Other than he does this a lot. I remember that. So I remember this weirding me out when I saw it. 
So, Zofia comes from upstairs, which Malusi's over here, pre-firing at stuff. Zofia's walking down the stairs, but again, Malusi's looking different directions. Comes back around reloading. And here you have Zofia. She's standing, but she is slow walking, like alt walking to be even quieter. And while she's slow walking is when the Malusi is waiting for her. So like you can see here, Malusi's still looking that way. And then Zofia starts slow walking right here. And then that's when Malusi goes to hold the angle and wait. And he knows that she's coming, even though she's slow walking. And then free fires. Again, I don't know how these people sound for. Even if I play with the game at a hundred, like I don't think I would be able to hear that. Like even I remember this actually. I was holding this angle. I didn't hear him reload, and I'm like five feet away from him. But he can hear the Zofia slow walking through the hallway. And I'm not playing on like super low volume or anything. Remember the, the kid being like, oh, the minute I looked away, he peeked me. So, that's it for the match. I think he went 13 and 1. Um, before we get you guys to vote, I'll look up his stats for you. His current stats are 1.6 KD. He's plat 1. Previous seasons were plat 1, 1.5. Plat 3, 1.2. And two seasons before that, he was gold with a 0 0.6. And before that, silver with a 0 0.6. He played the most matches in Void Edge, and as he played less, he got better. So, the final results. We had a total of 221 votes. 160 of you said yes, they were cheating. Uh, 61 of you said no. My personal take is, based off of his stat history, his giant leap in KD, meanwhile also being a low-level account, it seems really suspicious. Um... His crosshair placement, like I mentioned multiple times, was that of, like, a silver. But he always knew where people were. It was just like he would put his crosshair placement in really horrible places before they pushed them, and then as soon as they were about to be in the same room, then he'd be ready for them. Anything over 1.2 in high plant is sus already. So, while I agree with you... I have a 1.6 KD. But yeah, personally, I would say I think he is using walls of some kind. I think he's hiding them very, very well. His ability to just walk around the map and we could never hear him, but then he knew exactly where we were. The smallest like footsteps someone would make, he would turn around and be ready for them. Even playing on like 100% volume, I don't think you would be able to hear them. Yeah, the jump in stats, his overall game sense just seemed way too high, especially for a level 100 account, going from silver to plat 1 with triple your KD. It just seems weird. I do think he has something, but there is not enough full definitive proof to report it and see if he gets banned. We, we got chat's opinion on it, we'll see YouTube's opinion on it, and we're going to move on to the next match, okay? We have Vic Vicious... Aloysius, who's accusing Keck Maintrius. So he is accusing this Finca. He ran past the frost. I do want to see one thing. When he runs through here, he looks at that guy, looks over here, looks at that guy, and looks to the right, looks at that guy. That was three people he kind of hovered over, but he didn't hover over the guy who was right next to him, so could have been a sheer coincidence. 
I guess you guys can't see the uh, the accused person in the bottom left. Finka. That wasn't obvious enough. Okay. It's over. Mm -hmm. This guy was accused of cheating? Am I missing something? You better like toggle or something. There's no way they accuse this guy of cheating. When he needs his own fucking clone. Everyone's so far away. Yeah, uh, grenaded absolutely nothing. is jiggle peeking everything. He whiffed a lot of shots, but he did see him on the jiggle peek. Him looking at locations where no one is is a benefit towards his uh, innocence. You're gonna run into a cap can trap, I think. On this door. I'm calling it. Runs into a cap can trap. Never mind. I could definitely understand that looking a bit suspicious if you were to want to die from that. He just saw the dog. And the dark didn't shoot him. How did the frost not kill him? Well, thanks for subs from EJM, Nam Nam, and D Willy. I saw what his attempt was. I don't think there was anything suspicious on what he did. windows open. I mean, he did kind of line it up through the wall, but he also saw him, so not that hard to line that up. Hold up. Did I blink and miss something? Okay. He saw him on the jiggle peak, but then lined it up through the wall? Uh, like, I get that the outline makes it look way, so way more suspicious, but like, I feel like even if you see him on the rappel, Lining him up through the wall is, like, to that level. Because it's not even just, like, a quickly move your mouse just a little bit. It's like... Look. He looks. His aim's over here. He brings his mouse to the left, and then he moves it up to, like, make it more pinpoint accurate. He also missed the shot. That was on the, on the hood. That should not have been a kill. Well, let's see. Maybe it's a one-off. One sec. So here's the rappel in. You would, yeah, he would be able to hear that drone get tossed. Okay. I 
don't know if uh, the floor is just whiffed so hard there. Or if the video actually made a good play. I just love decks, bro. What were those shots? We'll see. <clears throat> if we see Hibana run off to the right and he looks away at the exact same time, which he just did, but that was so like perfectly in sync that they moved together that I think he just gave up. I don't think that was suspicious. If, it, if we could see Hibana run off and then he moved, then that would be more suspicious. Also, my eye is fucking hurting today, and I guess, I don't know if it's dry or, I don't know. To start playing the rest of this match in two times because oh or we could just skip to the next round i could understand that looking suspicious but actually the only suspicious part i find about this is the fact that the grenade killed them The grenade landed here, and it killed two people here with full health, or almost full health. I guess lesion was low. The fact that it killed Doc with 90-something health, and the grenade landed here, that is ridiculous. That should not be killing him. But that is a very common grenade spot, so... Nothing too suspicious there. Oh, saw frost, but or dump truck of an ass. Ah, my ears. Okay, unless something crazy happens in this last round, I don't think he's cheating. I think he's just better, and the enemy team is just really bad. Man can land a shot on someone's head after just jiggle peeking them, but he can't hit a Flores drone. Before down to Dokubi. Lincoln, you missed that. Screen is shaking like crazy. He kills one, flicks right to the head of the other. Uh, I can understand why they reported him. We'll look up his stats. I'm assuming this has to be a smurf in a low rank lobby. Because it is ranked, yeah. We figured it out, chat. He is... He has deranked all the way down to bronze. When he's normally a gold player. I still think the shots he was making looked way more suspicious than a, a normal gold player's shots. But I understand now that it would be a lot easier when the rest of the lobby is garbage. From, my, from what I can see, I don't believe he's cheating but he is smurfing to the highest degree and being an asshole about it. And I know a lot of people will look at me and be like, whoa, 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 you can't say shit. Like, you smurf or whatever, you're just as bad. I will never sweat my fucking ass off in a bronze lobby when I'm on my copper to diamond or solo smurf stuff. I will always meme to the highest degree possible and usually lose a bunch of matches because of it. Yeah, we'll skip this one. I I don't know what's happening there. In this match, we have Come Drinker, who is accusing Reformed Dot Vigils. Okay, this guy can barely aim at a camera. He's also right next to Sai, and then ran all the way around Master.
What is he holding? He's holding for his teammate pushing up. Aimed low already. He was expecting this person to be prone in the hallway. The rook. He expected this? Interesting. The reaction time on that with the recoil control. Reaction time wasn't as impressive on second look. The recoil control is, like it's, there's literally no recoil. The gun is completely straight. Could the guy on the stairs see the rook? Nope. The Zofia had uh, just been coming up the stairs. I feel like she's looking up here and doesn't look at there at all. And then. The buck shoots before Zofia would have even been able to make the call. This guy didn't get a kill. He has had zero kills, so it's not like he had any prior knowledge for why he would be there. No recoil on this at all. Like, literally nothing. Have any of you guys ever seen a buck shot like that with zero fucking recoil? He was ready for this guy. Zero recoil. Okay. I'm already willing to make a claim. This guy is 100% using a recoil macro. He, he still can't control his horizontal recoil. Or like, the sway from left to right. He might even be using walls. 100% he's using a recoil macro. Like, his gun does not move from its position. It stays completely still. And he has pre-fired every single person that he uh, goes up against. Um, skips around. I'm pretty sure this is the one where he's just like, oh, he was suspicious in these three rounds. He said five and seven. If he was obvious in round five, how did blue team lose the round? This guy also moves like he's on a controller, which I think he might be. How is Buck C8 on console? Is it really easy to control? That's the only thing I could think of as to why his recoil would be like nothing. What? Apparently that was supposed to be the obvious round. Um, I did notice him looking at them through the wall a lot. He kept like looking back and forth, being like, okay, which way do I push? But people do that when they're looking for audio as well, so. Chat will generally say like, oh, like I have no recoil. But you can still see the gun jump in between each shot as you're pulling it down. This guy had a laser, like his reticle did not move at all. So it's not like he's, slowly moving down his mouse or controller or whatever in time it is literally not moving from its spot this guy did not have any jumps at all i think this guy is on controller he's never once from what i've seen leaned without aiming down sight and his movement so slow and robotic that's the only thing i can think of as to why he's recoil solos because he's on controller I'm not crazy, right? Like, it looks like this guy is on controller. As evidenced by his horrible aim.
he aimed over here before he even saw the Ying. Which is weird because I would assume as a player, I guess in the situation, if a Ying throws a Candela here, I'm assuming she's pushing here. I don't think she would push behind her. But he aims over before she's even in sight or in his line of sight and gets ready to shoot him. He looked at the sledge right there through the wall and is now running away. So this could be a first. A PC player playing with controller and maybe running walls. <clears throat> Like, what is, what is he aiming at? This guy has 12 kills and he's aiming at walls. And what was that reaction time, dude? Like the, before the guy's even on the screen, he's shooting. I couldn't even pause it in time. I knew it was coming to left click. <laughs> And he still shot before I could even pause. So this this might be a first. A PC player playing on controller who's using walls. So my theory is that this guy is walling and he's playing on a controller that way. When he gets reported, they'll look at his movement and stuff and be like, oh, he's not that good. Like, maybe he just got lucky or whatever. Did that Ella, like, sprint or anything? Or what happened here? Ella crouch walks, and at this point, Ash is already getting ready for him to push. Ella's pushing up, jiggle peeks a little bit. When did the ash start shooting? I always talk about how I want more matches where it's really difficult to tell. Because it makes me actually like work for it. But this is one of the ones where I'm like, there's so much bad going on that I can't tell whether it's just the shittiest lobby ever or if he's cheating. He's 100% using a controller. He has not hip leaned once. And his movements and aim is way too sway to be on mouse and keyboard. Did he actually aim at the... Who was that? Thunderbird? No. Capcan? I think he aimed at him through the wall. Oh no. He would have aimed a bit to the left. Hmm. Let's go watch like round four or something. Because <clears throat> so far, while he has done a lot of suspicious things, we don't have anything where it's like... He literally tracked them through the wall, and we have 100% definitive proof. He had them pre-aimed. They killed the blitz. Did the sledge shoot? I don't think so. Because Glass killed him. And Jaeger was immediately shooting at the sledge after killing the blitz. He just was unaimed on sight, so he missed his shots. Reformed dot vigils. No profile found. And there's no other way you could sneak that name past. The only possible thing is the L being an I. 
not on R6 tracker, not on R6 tab, or the Ubisoft tracker. This man is a fucking rogue. Player not found. We'll do it one more time. Yeah, this man's a rogue. We cannot find him. I am willing to bet walls at the very least. Uh, maybe no recoil macro. Um, but he was on controller, so the controller could make it less recoil. This one. Yeah, we have Spief Eater accusing Kazarik Senpai. Oh no, what am I about to witness here? How is it going? So he runs up his shotgun. So he's cheating. Yeah, he, uh, he peeked the window before the person. Yeah, he's cheating. How much you want about the next kill is going to be equally as suspicious. Oh my god, the lion scan, please stop. He knows the person's there. He saw him through the wall and now he's waiting for him to come back. I'm waiting for the lion scan to end. That's a common spawn peak now. I mean, to a small degree it is, but on drones, no one saw him. Not a single person was watching that. Uh, window wasn't broken yet. He spawns in, stops, looks at him, quick peeks with the shock and pulls out the SMG. And he knows, so, the the one thing you can really use to tell that he's cheating is like, so look, he quick peeks here because he knows he can get shot. The second that the vigil backs off and isn't holding it, he holds this just standing there. Like, he knows that he's safe because the vigil's not peeking. But watch, he goes to break the window. And he peeks as soon as the guy peeks. He, he was watching him through the wall. Plain and simple. God, why is the lion thing always on? He also uh, killed the recruit without droning him out or anything. Actually, let me make sure. So he goes to grenade this guy. No one is on drones or saw him. Everyone's on the other side of the map. And he grenades this guy. I believe the barricade was still up, right? Yeah, so he destroyed the barricade, and yet he knew that guy was there. This is why I'm the one analyzing and not chat. His recoil control is big yikes of Roonies. I believe he has the hip fire no spread hack. We'll go back to this in a second. He one-shots the barricade from 15 meters away. That's not possible. Even at close range, that's like three shots, two shots maybe. When I use Finca shotgun, I have to shotgun it three times normally to break it from close distance. But he probably has hip fire hacks. Now he's checking the corners, being like, oh, like, is anyone over here?
So he's obviously trolling a bit here, but one thing that we can use to our advantage when trying to uh, show that he is a cheater is here, you know, freak coincidence of it lining up because you're holding an angle in the door. But when he was in Visa, he checked all his corners. He didn't check a corner here. There could be someone hiding in this right corner. He doesn't check. He doesn't care. He moves on. And every single time, when he knows that the person's walking away, he starts walking. But when he gets like to an angle where he can't shoot them, he slows down because he knows that they could potentially shoot him back. And there, like he jumps over, he's like, "All right, I'm fine." So he just pushes in. He doesn't check his left at all. What if there's still someone in um, console office? Possible. And then he just sneaks up on this guy. So. We already have a lot of evidence of him just blatantly knowing where people are. The grenade was probably one of the most obvious. One shot in the barricade makes us suspicious of him having. I have never seen that before. That is 100% a new cheat. So who in chat was defending this guy again? <laughs> Come out with your hands up. That's insane. How is that a thing? Okay. So this is my armchair programming knowledge coming out. So, in this game, you have the sender, the server, and the receiver. When Sledge performs an action, it performs it on his client, sends that information over to the server. The server confirms that it's possible, sends a check back to the Sledge, being like, yes, you can do this, and then sends that info out to all of the receivers, meaning the rest of the lobby, so that that way everyone has, you know, a breach where there should be a breach, a explosive where there should be an explosive. It does this all in a matter of milliseconds. So on this guy's end, the game is saying he caused destruction on a hatch. The server receives that information, confirms it, and then sends that info out to everyone else. Is there nothing in place to make sure that if you're causing destruction on an in destructible surface that it's like that it has to be from a source that can actually do it do the servers not check where the source is from like hey you have a maverick hole but it's from a shotgun is that just not a thing also obviously just to be very sure because we have had replay bugs in the future or in the past let's make sure that you know, it's actually reinforced. Yes, it is. Oh, he breaks the hatch. Hold on. Maybe? This could be a replay bug from, uh... Rewinding, checking. Let's just see if he ends up actually breaking a bullet or not. I don't think he does. So. He also can destroy reinforcements with his grenades. One side. Or maybe that was when he shotgunned through the floor. No, it wouldn't have reached that far. There's already destruction there. It could have been from that grenade. It might just be there already. 
it's just not going to go away, but his grenades can also destroy reinforcements. So, this is new. I have never seen that before. That is a brand new cheat. I will send that off to Ubisoft. I'll maybe tweet about it if you guys want to retweet it to bring up some awareness. That's new. Has anyone ever seen that before? I've seen the hip fire one where he destroyed the barricade because it just makes all the pellets go into one dot instead of spread. I've never seen destroying a reinforced wall with a shotgun. That's something else. Well, whatever. That's definitely a cheater. We'll move on to uh, the last match of this group. We have Unholy Spaka, who is accusing Kitty Lover 72. That's pretty bad already. He's live tracking him through the wall. He's tracking him. He's literally just following his every move. He knows where he's going. He goes back to the... Oh, no, I was going to say, if he goes back to the window with him, then it's even more obvious. So he's cheating. He pre-fired before you could even see him. I bet he's gonna go to the bridge now and kill the guy on bridge. Oh. Trying so hard to hide it, but also not trying at all. Let's go to the last round. I just need something, like some type of clip, that cannot possibly be interpreted as being lucky in any sense. Like it has to be him tracking someone, which we had in the first round, that, that might, might be enough, but I want to get more. Because if we don't have like definitive proof of him using something very obvious, then I can't get him banned. It has to be 100% without a doubt. I know a lot of people, I already saw people in chat being like, you already have enough proof. Don't become a lawyer. Because one thing you'll learn is that... Even with what you think is obvious proof might not be enough proof. They were pretty obvious. We'll see his other two kills this round. And see what he does. We have the first round where he was tracking the buck through the hard wall. We'll get two more kills here. And then we can call it a day on this uh, match. Or this group. Yeah, as he's about to peek. He pre-fires it. Shameless. Shameless. Bro. He's so bad. He has wall hacks. Well, let's see if he's banned or not. It was only last night, so. Oh, he changed his name to Ben. Ben dot dash dot with no uh, 
Oh wait, oh no, never mind. You just changed that. Wait, what? Oh wait, oh one. And then seven days later it's changed again. Literally just last night he had it. So maybe his name got reported and then Ubisoft reverted it to something else. Oh, he's definitely cheating. He hasn't been banned, but we'll report him as well.